Uh, we'll get started here. Uh, first of all, we want to welcome you here uh, to our new facility. Today's a proud day for not only the staff, the volunteers. It should be a proud day for everybody in Ohio County. Because, uh, the animal world is changing, and we change with it. So, uh, and uh, we've got a new facility thanks to uh, hard work of elected officials here, like Senator Rhodes and uh, Judge Johnson. Uh, and Representative Thompson that work together in getting us funding uh, for a building like this. Uh, before we get much further, uh, I feel like uh, we need to say a word of prayer, and I'm going to ask uh, Les Johnson, our former county clerk, to do that for us, please. Thank you, Les. Uh, I know a lot of you here on your lunch hours. So we're going to speed this up. But I don't want to. I want to get all our thank yous in. But first, I'm going to have uh, Judge Johnson say a few words. I know how proud he is of this project, and he's helped finish it off here at the end. Uh, a lot of things you see wasn't necessarily in our grant. But he made sure we got the funding to uh, finish this thing out right and do a good job. So I'm going to introduce Judge Johnson right now. Thank you, Josh. Uh, I really appreciate all of you coming out and uh, all the county uh, officials that are here. If I try to name all of you, I'll miss somebody. Uh, and especially if I miss the sheriff, he would not tell us why. But anyway, uh, I appreciate all of you being here. Uh, appreciate Senator Rhodes and uh, uh, my counterpart in Davis County, Judge Executive Al Mattingly is here. I'm really proud he's here. Of course, the mayor, Mayor, mayor Charlotte Hendricks is here. Uh, and I'm really proud of this facility. We're going to be able to take a better care of our uh, animal control. Uh, situation now. Uh, in addition to the new shelter, we have a new ordinance in place uh, that that uh, will show us a, a lower intake, meaning we can handle better what, what we do get and uh, hopefully guarantee a uh, better outcome for animals that uh, have, to, have to come here. So uh, with that said, I'll say one more time how proud we are that we have this new facility. And I'm sure Josh is going to show it off in a little bit. Thank you, Josh. Yeah, thank you again, Judge. And again, I can't say how much he's really, he's pushed me to push this project. So uh, he's all for it 100%. Representative Tommy Thompson called me yesterday. He couldn't be here. And uh, he's going to come here in a couple of weeks and take a tour. Him, like I said, along with Senator Rhodes, was a big part of $60,000 worth of funding towards this building and securing that and co-severance money. So we're proud that Senator Rhodes is here, and uh, we're going to give him a few moments to speak as well, Senator. Thank you, thank you, John. Thank you very much. And uh, Les, I think you hit it on the head. That we uh, we have a lot of responsibilities as citizens to uh, our environment, but we have our responsibilities to our animals. And uh, I don't know, I hope we don't have a whole lot more out on the road because they've got a new hotel to stay in. But but this is really nice. I think it shows again what we can do when we work together. Uh, these things don't come easy, they don't come quickly. Uh, I know I've gotten many emails from uh, uh, Josh and Tina and others about the need for this. Uh, and when we when we work together with our grants, with our co-severance money, uh, with the county's help, uh, we can do things like this. And I think it really speaks well for a county uh, to be able to to have a facility like this. And a lot of counties would just really be very envious of what we have in this county. It speaks well for what we hold as our responsibility for our animals. And uh, I want to congratulate uh, David and all the fiscal court members and everybody who's worked with us. I talked to Tommy Thompson on the way over. He's at a legislative conference down in Alabama. He uh, certainly regrets that he couldn't be here. But we work very closely together on this project, and uh, I'm very happy to be a part of it. So thank you a lot for coming, and uh, we appreciate all your help. Thank you. Okay, Josh. Also, I want to say uh, Hancock County Judge Xavier Jack McCaslin's here, too. I didn't see him. I was looking for him. I didn't see him a while ago. He's here. Uh, appreciate, we appreciate all of you being here. Again, I don't want to leave anybody out that's been a big part of this project. First of all, I want my staff, if they can gather around. I know Gloria's here and Stephanie. Is Brandon still here? He had to leave. Here he is. still here. Brandon. Uh, we've all been together for seven years, and uh, we've had our ups and downs and our fights and our scratches like those cats sometimes do, but, but we've got through it and, uh, 
and they help us out a lot. This is Gloria. She wrote, wrote the grant for, that we got uh, from the Kentucky uh, Animal Control and Advisory Board. So thanks to her writing, it was about seventy some thousand dollars that went to this building. So I think that deserves a round of applause. Brandon over here, he's my handyman. Anytime I holler for something, he generally goes and gets it. He may not go real fast, but he'll get there. <laughs> uh, he gets it done. So, and Stephanie's our newest member. She was a volunteer for a while, and we're working her in more hours each year. She's our crazy cat lady. She takes care of the cats. So, uh, we we'll appreciate all of them. Uh, next, somebody that I can't leave out, obviously, uh, Tina. You're going to get in here whether you want to or not. Tina Thompson. Uh, uh, she went out on her own and built a facility to help us and to uh, take in rescue animals and uh, does a lot of good work for us and we don't know where we would be without her the last two years and I appreciate her along with all of her friends of the shelter, her volunteers and this is kind of an inside joke but I appreciate you village people too so the ones that know what I'm talking about will understand that and appreciate it okay. Uh, I do. I really appreciate you. I know we all sometimes disagree to agree or agree to disagree, but we all love the animals, and that's what we got to remember. That's our goal each and every day is to save as many as possible, and sometimes we're put in tough spots, and somebody's got to make those decisions, and a lot of times that falls on my shoulders. So uh, we do the very best that we can. We thank all of you. Uh, we planned, uh, we kind of started planning this building, and the judge who was famous for his committees, put together an animal shelter committee, and uh, that consisted of the sheriff's wife, Kay, who's here, Tina, uh, Gloria, uh, Master Jason Bullock, and our park director, Susan Chen. They were all part of that committee, and uh, we really fought for this spot. And, uh, and Susan fought just as hard to keep it, and I don't blame her, because it's such a pretty spot. But in the end, we all come together and worked it out, and I don't think we could have been anywhere nicer. I think if you get outside and look around this facility, we've got all this territory to work with, to expand in the future. So uh, I appreciate Susan working with us, because this was part of the park. And uh, so uh, we appreciate her cooperation in helping us get up here. Uh, finally, we will plan on being up here in full operation around the first week after Thanksgiving. So we're going to kind of be in transitional mode for the next couple of weeks. So uh, bear with us. Uh, and we'll, we'll take care of your calls and complaints, but we're going to be in the process of moving and hopefully be here in a couple of weeks. And again, uh, I appreciate every one of you coming. I, I hope I've said it to the news reporters. I've said it to the newspaper. I feel like today Ohio County has hit the lottery when it comes to the animal business. Okay. <laughs> All you gotta do, I promise you, all you gotta do if you've never been down there, take five minutes and drive down there and walk through and you'll come back with a new appreciation for this building. Okay, I promise you, it gives me goosebumps every time I walk in here. So uh, we're gonna have a little ribbon cutting ceremony. Uh, you guys are free to start touring uh, and start eating. The ladies are gonna help you here, get some ice and drinks. I know a lot of you are on your lunch hours. We appreciate all of you coming. Stay as long as you want to. If you have any questions, Ask one of us and we'll try to answer it for you. So again, thank you very much.